pollination fruits and seeds what color flowers do you like the best why do you think flowers are different colors which parts of a flower make pollen why do you think flowers need pollen pollination pollination is the movement of pollen grains from the stamen of a flower that is the male part to the stigma of the same kind of flower there are two main ways that pollen is moved like this by insects or by wind pollination by insects these insects are called pollinators certain insects are attracted to certain types of flowers whenever you think of a bee don't you think the bees come and suck the nectar out of the flower that is because they are attracted to the certain kind of flowers for example butterflies butterflies like to visit flowers that are big and have lots of nectar a sweet liquid when the insects fly into the flower to feed on nectar inside the flower they brush against the anthers pollen grains from the anthers stick to the insect's body then the insect carries the pollen to the stigma of the same flower or another flower flowers pollinated by insects are adapted to attract pollinators in the following ways the flowers are white or have brightly colored petals they have a scent they produce nectar they have marks on the petals to guide the insect to the nectar inside the flower pollination by wind in wind pollination the pollen grains blow in the wind from the anthers to the stigma of the other flowers grass rice and corn flowers are wind pollinated flowers pollinated by wind have these adaptations the petals are small and not brightly colored they do not have a scent or nectar they make lots of smooth light pollen grains that blow away easily this diagram shows the process of pollination at first a pollinator that may be a bee takes the pollen grains from the anther of a flower to the stigma of the same flower or a different flower of the same kind why must flowers be pollinated plants reproduce by making seeds the pollen and eggs join together to make seeds in a process called fertilization pollination brings pollen from the male anther to the female stigma this allows the eggs to be fertilized and seeds to form fertilization happens in the flower's ovary fertilization only happens if the pollen and the eggs are from the same kind of flower after the egg is fertilized the petals and stamens of the flower die the ovary grows and becomes the fruit seeds form inside the fruit the fruit protects the seeds and helps to spread them this is a simple diagram of the pistil the top part is called the stigma that's where the mature pollen grains land the bottom most part is called the ovary and inside the ovary are present ovules questions why do flowers pollinated by insects have brightly colored scented petals and nectar this is to attract insects or pollinators why do flowers pollinated by wind have little color no petals or scent the pollen blows in the wind from the anther to the stigmas of other flowers they do not have to attract any pollinators why do flowers pollinated by wind produce lots of dry pollen this is because flowers pollinated by wind produce dry pollen because the dry pollens are aerodynamic and lifted by air currents
How does the pollination help the plant reproduce? Pollination helps the plant reproduce by transferring the pollens from the stamen to stigma of another plant of the same kind. Explain how pollination is different to fertilization. Pollination is the transportation of pollen, while fertilization involves the union of gametes leading to seed formation. Which part of the flower forms the fruit? The fruit is formed from ovary after its fertilization. What are the functions of the fruit? The fleshy part of the fruit is responsible for storing food derived from the plants. Think like a scientist. Observing insect pollinators. Find four different plants with flowers. Look for flowers that are brightly colored as well as some that do not have bright colors, such as grass flower. Observe the flowers. What size and color are they? Do they have lots of pollen? Do they have nectar? Now you can predict how each flower is pollinated. Observe which types of insects visit the flowers. Count how many times the different insects visit the flowers in half an hour. Record your observations in a table like this one. The name of a flower, description of the flower, prediction of how flower is pollinated, insects that visit the flower, and number of visits. Draw a bar chart of the number of times each type of insect visited the flowers you observed. Name the type of scientific inquiry you used in the activity. Types of scientific inquiry Research, fair testing, observing over time, pattern seeking, identifying and classifying.